Yo, this is King Lock again, and this is my appeal. Yeah, hear me? Man, dash where your pride and get your prostate check. Yeah, hear me? Come and say, dash where your pride and get your prostate check. Yeah, hear me now? Yo, this is King Lock, and I'm appealing to all my brothers over the age of 40. Please go get your prostate check. I am a success story, success, success, success story, I am a success story. Good night ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Big Stone Television. Today is January 27th, 2024. I am so confident that I am going to be a success story. Now, as you know, the right Honorable Marcus Garvey said, if you lack confidence, you're not once defeated, but twice. But with confidence, you're won before you even started. Today is exactly one month since I was diagnosed on the 27th of December with stage four prostate cancer. Now, the leader of the opposition I've seen it fit because he understand the plight of the Jamaican people. The Honorable Mark Colin has sent me a message that has lifted my spirit and my wanting to live, which I'm going to use as a public service announcement video so that every single Jamaican will understand that prostate cancer is not a joke. Prostate cancer has affected a lot of our Jamaican men, and for far too long, it has not been brought to the fore. An avalanche, a volcano, or a tsunami has not been made about the plight of our people. So I'm doing this video in solidarity with my brethren, Big Stone, who recently was diagnosed with stage four prostate cancer. Big Stone, keep the faith, the battle will be won. People, did you know that prostate cancer is the most common form of cancer in men other than skin cancer? It is the second leading cause of cancer deaths after lung cancer. And it is especially prevalent in men who are 40 and upwards and men of African descent. Early detection is crucial. This is not something to feel any way about, something to get embarrassed about. It can save your life and the other people who are depending on you will expect you to do what you can to save your own life. Thanks to advancements in medicine, there are non-invasive tests like the PSA test, the prostate specific antigen test is a long word for that that can identify high levels of PSA, which are indicative of a risk of prostate cancer and help early detection so that the chances of full recovery are greater. So let's raise awareness and let's encourage our men to get tested. For the people of South St. Andrew, of which I have the honor of being a member of parliament, we will be having a health fair early in February, at which, among other things, PSA tests and the digital rectum test will be available. So I encourage each and every one to take advantage of that and we'll be sending around the town crier in due course to give you more details as to when it will be and where and so on. But this is not something that we can lay lay about. It's a very critical thing in Jamaica. Too much people are dying of this thing and too many people I know have been afflicted by it for me to do nothing. So hence, I'm putting out this video in support of Big Stone. Big Stone, one love. Then, reggae superstar, Nesbitt, did a performance at Robert of Thursday and in his performance he said these words 
Pick a listen. Father Big Stone is a success story. Yay! Success. A success story. Yeah, man. I'm going to say that without apology. This is Nesbeth. And I want to take the time out to let the public know that today, the 27th of January, mark one month since Mr. Claude Sinclair, a.k.a. Big Stone, has been diagnosed with stage 4 prostate cancer. And I want to more and tell Father Stone, say, success story. When I say success story, victory is a must. You're going to be successful in the fight against prostate cancer. Nesbeth said that. Blessings. Stop it. Dance all Thursday. I really want to take this opportunity to bless up a philanthropist. You know, he's really in need of help at this present moment. And right now, he's battling stage four cancer. I promise myself that whenever I tell any platform, I'm going to remind all the men so on a food do on a prostate test because the reality is i get a wide awakening the other day i never know such a maker of the leading pet in a prostate cancer so these are information that has been eaten yeah them talk about it but when jamaica becomes the number one country the leading country with that it means it is alarming that means it's for the every billboard it means it's for the national TV, then it, it means it's for the over the radio. So me, I make my contribution in my own way to tell everyone, say, King Man them on the only prostate test because we're there. You hear me I say? Wow. Thank you so much, Nesbeth. And to top it off, reggae superstar, Nature Ellis. Are these words to say, not just to me, but to Jamaican men and African men all over the diaspora. Take a listen. It's a burning fire in my soul. We can all use more love to save the world. My name is Nature Ellis, and I want to say, Today, Mark, one month since my brother, my friend, Big Stone, received the news that he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And I want to say to Big Stone, keep strong, because I know that it could never be easy, because we have heard about this type of disease we have we have seen what happened but I can tell you that I have also seen where numerous amount of people beat it numerous of people jumped over that hurdle and fought and won I want to say big stone I am here and um, I'm always praying for you um, and I know that you can overcome this one as well. You have overcome so many obstacles, we have gone into so much discussion over the years and uh, since I know you and um, I know that you are a warrior and I'm saying that we are here for you, we love you, we respect you. And I know that the Most High is using him, and I don't think the Most High is finished with you here on earth. So I want to say, keep strong, Big Stone. Keep positive. And um, I want to also appeal to my fellow Jamaican brothers, male, and also our African people, to please, once you know, especially. When you reach the age of 40, go and do, go and check your prostate. It mostly targets um, black people, right? That's what I, I found that research has shown. So I'm asking you, all my Jamaicans, 
and all the Africans in various and, and, in, and all these Africans in different diaspora go and get your prostate check see so again big stone keep strong nature is representing and I want to say holy for love I know you have the strength and the power to overcome see we got the strength and the power to just be the glory the most I go before us yes big stone keep strong we love you my brother Wow, I'm so overwhelmed. Thank you so much, Nature Ellis. And then, reggae superstar, Abijah. Oh, it will be a revelation, a this to say. Not just to me, but to Jamaican men and African men all over the diaspora. Take a listen to Abijah. Hey, this is a roots man, Abijah. Yeah, and today, the 27th of January, means one month anniversary that my brother, my brethren, blood, big stone, was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Now, I'm here to just to have, have, have it as a reminder to appeal to my brothers and to get tested, you know. Don't wait till it's too late. And, you know, these are times that we have to be health conscious and know what exactly we are all about and our journey in life, right? So protect our bodies, protect our life and fight that good fight against prostate cancer. I want to big up Big Stone Man, you know, because he's a strong individual, he's a strong human being, he's a strong brother. And you all know Big Stone, he has shared so many love with everybody around the world. You know, yeah, man. So keep it going. Let us be health conscious and fight against prostate cancer. Oh, this will be a revelation. Yeah, man. Wow. Thank you so much, Apicha. That was very powerful. And then to top it off, ladies and gentlemen, my friend Heru Aisha Kamusa Menik, a justice of the peace and a lay magistrate judge, a Rastaman, sitting in court, as this to say about not just me, but prostate cancer. Take a listen. Greetings and blessings. Today I'm doing some work. Today is the 27th day of January. And as I said, the 27th, it reflected on the 27th of December. When my good brethren, the Kazembe, Big Stone, was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And out of that, I had to be at the doctor with him up and down. And you know, today is one month since he has been diagnosed with cancer. Since that time, he has learned that it is actually stage four prostate cancer. And as I know it, that can be a killer. But Big Stone is a man of confidence. Big Stone is a man who lives for the sake of others. One of his saying is, Without confidence, you are twice defeated in the race of life. But with confidence, you have won the race before you have even started. So I know my brethren is going to beat cancer because he's gonna change his diet he's changing his lifestyle and he's gonna be eating the right types of food the food with the phytonutrients the food with good vitamins that will lift up the cancer kill it one of the herbal teas that we use sour sap leaf to kill the cancer cell it creates what they call apoptosis the cancer cell instead of multiplying one to two two to four four to eight that one cancer cell kill itself the great sour sap leaf but we have other things man we have the good noni water what we want to drink the phytonutrients that is in our different herbs and beans and seeds that we eat the good teas guinea hen weed powerful so my brethren big stone Stay strong, 
You have a lot of work to do. The ancestors depending on you. You are one of the liberators of the African people. Stay strong, my brethren. One month, and you're looking so. So you can imagine when two months. Yes, I see the eye losing weight too. So you know, when you take off some of the fat cells, they call it the adipose tissue. That is what the cancer love to feed on. So I know you're going to beat it. Give thanks, my brethren. One God. One aim, one destiny. Big Stone is the man that come to do a work. And him nah left here till him do the work. We nah drop flesh till the work is done. Marcus Mosiah Gabby is in people majesty in Pariah Sally. Thomas Sankara, all these great names. We have work to do. So right now, we nah talk about lay down in a bed and feel like you're sick and puny. We have work to do. We're going on the battlefield because one of the things that we know the earth awaits the rightful rulers, the African people. So we are come claim it, man. Big stone, my brethren. Stay strong, as I say. Selassie, I Rastafari. Wow. Thank you so much, Eru. Eru has been very active around me for a long time. And since my illness, he has not left me one inch. Thank you so much, Eru Aisha Kamusa Menelik. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, the Right Honorable Mark Golden. Thank you, sir, for your energy and your effort for humanity. Thank you for speaking out for prostate cancer. Thank you so much, Registar Nesbitt. Thank you. Thank you for speaking out so much for prostate cancer. Nature Ellis, what can I say? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for speaking out against prostate cancer. It's a killer. Oh, Abijah. Thank you so much, Abijah, for reaching out, man, and speaking out for prostate cancer. Eru Ai Shakamosa Menelik, what can I say? Thank you so much for speaking out on behalf of the Jamaican man prostate cancer. Today is exactly one month and I'm in cues that I am going to be a success story. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to Big Stone Television, be a success story and subscribe. Thank you.